What's up guys, we are back with Techit's Tutorials and let's start with this Let's get a few more <laughs> uh, Oh, come on <laughs> Totally worth it Let's get a load of this so it doesn't cause any lag It's good enough to just throw these out here. Clean up. Bam bam. And got these again. Let's just run over there with my quantum boots and what is that? Oh what? Ah oh. Great, right, okay, this thing broke again. How do I get bedrock from that? My neck. There we go, I had a little go with Railcraft and just made that and for some reason these things are broke. For some reason they eventually do. But I'm not a pro with it. So anyway, as you can see I've added a few new features to ignore the order over there. Um, I've added a shooting range for my own entertainment. Um, I know I'm a bit off topic here but it's a little fun. So let's go with the blow dart. Step in the bus. Go to let's switch four. Let's load it up. Uh, load it up. And bam, stand the lights on. And now it looks so much better. Let's have a look. There we go. And again. Blow gun, um, very easy to make, not that effective though, oh god that's a bit white. How I done this was, let's go through the refining that door, was these wireless receivers, this one's set to 4, so when I go to these, I cannot remember names, wireless transmitters, these are set to 4 as well, so when you shoot, so that activates that, so, so I don't know this. Explain a little simple bit of it. Power. There we go. A load of done. Um. I don't know it's gonna kill them in the mining later now. A bit too far. Pew, pew. Let's get mining later. Um. And left foot. Yeah, let's go for low focus. Bam, 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 bam. You have to be careful with these because they can just go through anything or besides bedrock. Okay, so that's it, that. Um, just a little quick fun thing. Turn these off and let's turn it back to day. So screw around. Okay, so again, going off topic. I also built a little park bit. This is used. This is made by Little Box. As you can see, when you flip through this, there's a whole page of them. So it's like 17 pages. And especially all the new features might be adding. I'll be adding a bomb-proof area soon. In this area. But anyway, let's get on the topic. Now today we are going to be doing oil power. Let's move this a bit closer. Um, oil power, honestly I'm not that big of a fan on. Um, never really liked it. Never really appealed to me. But anyway, let's try it. And the reason I don't like it is because you use combustion engines and they can explode if they run out of water. See I've left some for quite a while. It's got half oil and full water. I would keep it as that. Okay, but anyway, let's get down to business. This is an oil fabricator, right? Yeah, oil fabricator. 
Um, I've got like the grid over there to show you how to make it, and all the little details down to copper wire. And it's twenty circuits. So basically, this is um, just I've just set up a big power field here. Um, just get a load of power to it. If you just use like a bat box and power it into that, and it will make a load of oil. One sec. To Skype. Flying. There. Everyone's so disturbed me now. So you use redstone engines to pump it out with waterproof pipe. I've used gold just to get it faster. And I've used stone and cobble cobble proof waterproof stone and cobble waterproof pipe to do this. And this goes into these. See how these are almost full now? Well this one's almost full. It's getting two links. So basically you pump Water, which uses a pump, and this I would use a little block here because it will never run out unless you like break the bottom bit. I think you might even go then. So this goes all the way into these, um, and when you pump these, you go into these pipes. Now, con these are conductive pipes. Um, yep, conduct con conductive pipes, and you use a wooden pipe by this engine and use stone or golden pipe to go all the way to what you need honestly I'm not really sure what this type of power does because I don't find it that interesting but it can and I, f I don't know how to use it with energy links I think you can transfer tra transfer it back into other type of power but anyway it's used to power quarries it's the only way to power them I think it's build craft power that's what an energy, energy link is used for so as, I, as you can see it's built a frame when I link this up you'll see that little blue thin blue line going into this and powering it as you can see it goes quite fast so just three combustion engines if it was redstone engines this would have taken forever it's a black hole chest by the way I would not u I would not recommend using them on the multiplayer server because there is a chance they glitch out and destroy your world take all this bit with you like with it and can like, wreck your character on that world so I wouldn't recommend using them but they go to 20, 27 20 yeah 27,000 898 pages that's what I'm get. that's what I'm just gonna say maybe even more than that I was say infinity but as you can see this is actually quite fast um if I linked all these up with an energy link, let's just do that. And ever energy link. These are actually quite expensive to make for what they are. So let's do that. Um, break down. Glass. Glass fiber cable. This is how you link it up. That. Then you use these type of pipes. We get it into there. That should work, right? Or does that not work? Oh, God, I'm completely useless with this stuff. And um, which way do I put it in? Ah, okay, there we go. Oh, right, now it's going in there. It needs wooden conductor. Oh, fuck, I'm completely bad with this. Um, let's try wooden conductor pipes. Ah, there we go. So you need to use a wooden conductive pipe, and as you can see, just ignore that there. It can be going a bit faster now. Now I'll say if I linked up a high voltage, HV. Let's link a load of these up. Oh, shoot. Say I've linked up about this many of them. Jesus Christ. So, as you can see, with this is better because, as you look, you can see that the power of light is really thick now compared to this. If I had a l look about 20 of, of these high voltage ones linked up to it, it would go at such an amazing speed, it would be unbelievable. 
So I'm just showing you like multiple ways of how to do use this type of power. Oh, yeah. And as you can see, it's digging up really fast now. But it'll hit bedrock soon, so anyway, let's just leave that. So that's how you use an oil refinery, not much to it. Simply as this. But if you want to do it the easier way, because that uses a mass fabricator, um, you do it this way. I haven't started this up yet, but this is like the simple way of doing it. Oil tanks full of it. I must have made this one, but this is what you will find. This is a good one which spouts up into the air. And no, you cannot make an infinite, an, an infinite amount of oil by doing the water trick. I have tried it, it does not work, unfortunately. You're gonna get a bit, bit easy. And as you can see, this is pumping out the power, obviously not anywhere, but it's pumping the power out. Just want to see if this works. And then I don't know everything about this type of power, but I know enough to do a tutorial about it. The heck this thing is. Okay, so, yeah. That's another way of doing it. I think you can get it through an energy um, thing. An energy link to back to this type of power. So anyway, another use for oil. Um, isn't so much used for power. Did this fail again? No, it didn't. Isn't so much used for power, but it's used for jetpacks. Um, not completely sure how to do that. You can look it up on the circuit wiki, but you will need a cannon machine and it's fuel, and I think you make fuel cells. Like, I think it's a bucket of fuel, and then a, an empty cell, which is used for 14 in diamond shape. And this is an oil refinery. I forgot how to make this and I forgot to show it to you. So let's just turn these on. This will need quite a bit of oil. So if it requires power. But anyway, these two tanks will fill up on oil. And so that one fills up and then the second one will fill up. And that should start. I just. No. That should start. You need power. See, this is why I'm completely pointless on oil power because I never use it. I just need power. Hmm. I've done this right, haven't I? Right, let's go, let's go to transport. I don't know what's up with this. It should be working. Unless it doesn't not pump onto it. So I don't think it does. See, I'm not be I'm not really good on oil power. I know a bit about it, but... Mm, you know. I'm not really that interested in it, so I don't know much about it. But I'll leave a link in the description to a Techit Wiki that is just amazing. It tells you the crafting recipes and how to use stuff. So this is those two tanks fill up and that should start. I see that's starting now, so I'll just leave that for a bit. It's already full. I'll leave that for a bit. Come back to it later. So this I've done this big grid on how to make an oil fabricator. That's not it. That's not it either. No, no. Here we go. Get just a bit closer to there goes the main one. So as you can see it's pretty expensive. Advanced alloys, TNT is easy to make. A mass fabricator, diamond gear. That is the most expensive out of all of them and I'll show you why. So let's follow the grid back to this first one. So you make a mass fabricator. Advanced a lot of advanced stuff glowstone and lapidon crystal so let's follow back here to the, the advanced circuit you need a normal electronic circuit um, two lapis, two glowstone and four redstone like in that and to make a normal advanced circuit I mean a, a normal circuit you will need 
six copper cable which you get from doing one copper cable thingy I'll show you, refined iron which is cooking iron and two redstone on the side to make copper cable you need six rubber and three copper copper is sticky, I mean rubber is sticky resin burnt which you can use, which you can get from a tree tap if you don't know how to get sticky resin you get it from the tree, it's this your little yellow thing or brown thing if you're on the other texture pack the tree is like this, looks a bit like birch wood just that the tree, the, light, um, the leaves are a bit darker, more grey and it has about four trees high or two trees high depending on how good the tree is and from the rubber wood you get um, from rubber lago wood you get um, jungle wood okay so off that now that's how you make an advanced circuit again this is how you make an advanced machine block carbon, two carbon plates, machine block which is basically how you make um, a cobblestone furnace, which is just called a normal furnace, but it's used with refined iron. So if I like take all that away, use refined iron. And that's how you make it. So anyway, back on task. You can swap these things around. It doesn't matter. It goes either way. So that's how you make the advanced one. To make advanced alloy, you will need huge bodies. Okay, so this is how you make an advanced alloy here. Bronze, refined iron, tin. So makes, that's how you make the TNT for it. I don't know what that has to do with it. And how you make bronze dust is three tin dust and one, I mean, three copper dust and one tin dust. And to do that, you just macerate the ore. So say copper, but copper ore. Just macerate it and it'll come out with copper dust. Same with tin. Same with any ore, it comes out with two. So that's how you make that and you just compress it. It's one compressor. And you just compress it and you will make an advanced advanced alloy and as you can see it makes two. So it's good. And this is how you make a diamond gear. Two two wooden planks of any type of wood on top of each other. That's like the equal sign make a stick it will make four sticks, so four sticks in a diamond shape wooden gear four cobble in a diamond shape and a wooden gear in the middle stone gear four iron in a diamond shape stone gear in the middle iron gear four gold in a diamond shape iron, um, iron gear in the middle gold gear or golden gear or butter gear depending if you watch guy and four, di and four diamonds in a diamond shape <laughs> with a gold and, or gold or butter gear in the middle to make a diamond gear which is like the ultimate one so I've basically covered everything about that tank is used with 8 glass in a furnace shape um, and to make glass you just cook sand that's all people should know unless you're like really new to minecraft now a thing I haven't covered is um, how to make Oh my god, is the carbon plates. I've not shown you how to make those, but I've got it covered. You will need raw carbon mesh, and to make raw carbon mesh, you will start off with a macerator. You'll macerate some coal, I would say, it's quite a bit, because it's used for nano armor as well. So, macerate some coal, that will take quite a while, because you'll know, say you have some overclockers. You'll need four coal dust to make one carbon fiber. You will need two of those on top of each other to make raw carbon mesh. And then you mesh the raw carbon mesh in a compressor to make Rilla carbon plate. This is the Lapatron crystal. You will need an energy crystal, which is a diamond in the middle, and then eight redstone all around it. I forgot to show you that, sorry. Then two electronic circuits, we've covered that and then six lapis on the sides and with all that you should be able to make this so you'll need six bronze, six, actually no a bit more than that 
I don't want to go through all the recipes because I haven't listed that. So that is how you make an oil refinery, pretty easy. Um, as you can see, it's already reached bedrock. That's pretty quick. Um, any oil yet? All, I mean, not oil, fuel. It slowly makes it, very slowly. So unless you have a Norse bow, so that big. We've obviously found one bigger, it went up to like this height. About here. Well actually I didn't find it, my friend Venezi did. On a legit world, really good world. I'd also see it through though. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, that is basically it. That's all you can really do with oil. Um, you can pour oil, that's how I run that. So that is basically it for oil power, to my knowledge. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't really use it unless you are a quarry person. You use a load of quarries. To be honest, me a person doesn't. To me, I just do not use quarries. I've never used one ever because they use quite a bit of resources. They require free iron and golden ingots. I think it's free and. Or two golden ingots and two diamond, not ingots, um, gears. I mean, and then a diamond pickaxe, and then a mining well. I don't you have no idea how to make. So never made them. You can all you can all just look at this on the Tech It Wiki. Um, it explains everything how to make all this crap. And so thank you for watching. Um, I hope this m might have helped you a little bit at least. Um, it would be, it would be really helpful if you could leave a comment on what you would want next. Or yeah, and all I have to do now is nuclear power, and that's basically all the power. I think that's all the power anyway. Let's just have a look quickly. So. Um, Lava Fabricator, I don't think I actually used that right, to be honest. Oh yeah, Lava Fabricator, yeah. That should be the same as an Oil Fabricator, let's link it up. I remember trying to use this for Oil Power, I was using it wrong, I think. Oh yeah, um, Power. Sorry guys, I just wanted to test this out quickly. So yeah, an Oil of Lava Fabricator, just a quick fact. It's used the same as an oil, as, as an oil fabricator. It just generates lava. See, I thought you had to pump lava into it and you make some good power. Apparently, I was wrong. I just don't blow up now. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the black hole chest. What did it get? Obviously, just dirt. Yeah. It obviously destroyed my TNT. Or set it off, I have no idea. So again, thank you for watching. Next time I, sh I will, all this will obviously be gone. And I'll have nuclear power set up, so I'll have a, a place, like a big cube of bedrock. With a nuclear re reactor inside it. So just to end the video, I just wanted to show you what I have done with this place. Um, charging bench, this would last forever because Ta-da! So what you can do like the end of the world thing. I must fell off then. I have an energy condenser. I never use energy collectors but for this case it's pretty useful. Because I can't just put a lot of diamonds there. Well I can but I don't want to. Energy collector. I wouldn't advise using them but I'll do a lot of little facts on them later. Basically, this just fills this up and it drops into the void, so there's no like lag when there's too much. And it just goes in here and just will just probably charge it forever. This is just refining before stone. That's concrete, reinforced glass. Blast brick oven stone. A lot of awesome stuff. So let's end the video by being a vampire hunter. But I've got like, my little science skin on. Woo! Science with Dark Knight. So which one's the crossbow one? I need to put some labels on this. Uh, number two, so that's number one. Makes sense, right? 
just spawn three in. Let's just load this up. You know, when it's loaded, because it'll have a different picture. Okay, so guys, I just want to announce that I am now back at school, so there will probably not be two of these a day. Um, since I'm gonna be, since there's only one more power left, I'm gonna do nuclear power tomorrow. Um, today I'll probably I might have another Terraria video. As you know, I will have another Terraria video. If you guys like the series, series, please, please like it. It would really help. And please like this video as well because that would help. I think I was just saying this really needs to get sidetracked. So, for I've, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like it. Um, if you like the comment, if you are new to the channel and you like my like the commentary, um, please subscribe. It would really help if you could join the viewers grid. It would I would really appreciate it to know that people are actually watching my videos and know that people like them and it would really help if you would share because it would bring me some more viewers and then can help more people and have more games to play because I don't know what you guys like and I really suck at horrors <laughs> what am I doing though? I need you guys to tell me <laughs> so again thanks for watching and I will see you guys later